What's up everybody, Jason here. Got my solar guitar, we're gonna unbox this. I have not opened this yet, so we're gonna do this together. Uh, I ordered this almost 12 to 13 days ago. This was supposed to be here last Monday, this is Wednesday. Um, the UPS guy literally just got here like an hour ago. Um, so from the time I ordered it to the time I got it, I think it's been 12, 13 days. Uh, I'm not gonna complain about that at all whatsoever considering that this came from Spain, literally. Uh, Barcelona, Spain, I, th I believe. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to complain about 12 to 13 days. That's pretty good. Okay, so it's here. Let's. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I've never had a solar guitar before in my life. Again, this isn't one of the high-end ones. This is his budget line, but I still think it's going to be pretty cool. So let me set up my phone, and we're going to unbox this together and uh, uh, cross my fingers. Right off the bat, looks like we got some damage to the box. Doesn't look like it's anything major that it affected anything. Now the only thing I am worried about is damage to the guitar. Now there was only a white flying V and a black one that you could uh, choose from. If I end up, if they messed up when I get the black one, I guess that'll be okay. Because I don't really, if anything's wrong, I don't really want to send this back because that's a major hassle to send this all the way back to Spain. Oh, we got a box in a box. So if the guitar turns out to be black, that's fine. As long as it doesn't have any damage, I will be happy. Here we got another box in the box. Oh. Ooh. Wish I could get the camera over here closer. Let's see. Came with a decent, decent gig bag. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. Oh, well, that's a, a decent gig bag. It's not too, it's not super thick. It's not thin at all. Man, that's got some weight. Wow. All right, we, re we ready to unzip this and see what we got here? Wow, it's even, the guitar is even, uh, it is the white one. Woo -hoo -hoo. What we got in here? Looks like they gave us a uh, guitar cable. That's kind of cool. Can never have too many of those around, I guess. And it looks like that tied. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. It's, you can smell it. Wow, you got six, five bolts on the back for the neck. And you can smell this thing like it literally... Sorry, I'm, I'm smelling my guitar. <laughs> I'll get a, a better close-up of this in a second. I'm just kind of... Dude, I love these small dots. The dot inlays on the neck. I freaking love how small they are. That's cool. I've never seen that. Wow, this is pretty sick. All right. I'm going to go do a real quick once over a real real close up once over on this and just and make sure there's no cracks or or any major major damage and then um i'm gonna take this in my room we'll do a close up uh so you guys can get a better look at this okay i got the guitar over here in my room where i'm trying to get as much light on it as possible i did a quick once over and uh, for the most part everything seems fine uh do have some complaints and I'm, I'm just going to tell you the, the, the visually the pros and cons. I haven't played this yet. So uh, visually, probably the, uh, the two biggest flaws I see on this is number one, looks like the ground wire that just uh, is sticking out. I've never seen that before. Sorry, trying to get a... And I don't want to pull on that too much. I'll probably just try to wrap it around because you don't want to disconnect that ground wire. I think that's a ground wire that goes from the pickups to ground everything out. Um, not the not the biggest problem in the world, not even really a problem. 
I just you think quality control would see that and maybe snip that off. Uh, the other biggest issue, the action is super high. And just like Glenn Fricker's video, these frets are very gritty. However, they are filed nicely on the fretboard. I'll give them that. Now, the other biggest complaint, the paint job. The paint job on this, in my opinion, is not very good. You can see these scuffs and bubbles. They're, there's a lot of that on the back. Now, I know this is a flat white paint job, but um, I've seen better paint jobs on cheaper guitars. So, not too impressed with the paint job. I do like the flat white. If you look up real close, there's just bubbles everywhere. There's some more scuffs you can see right there. I do, uh, and there's some of the biggest scuffs right here. Um, and, I mean, it looks like the paint, there wasn't even enough paint here. Um, kind of going to ding you guys big time on the paint job on this. Uh, not really impressed with the paint at all. I do, however, like, I like this whole neck joint area. I do like the neck is painted white. In person, this neck white color almost seems to be a little bit more yellowish in person. And what I find kind of funny is it says made in China. Well, this is from Ola England Solar Guitars in Barcelona, Spain. But yet, I guess he has his necks made in China. You can almost kind of see the difference in the white color going from that to that. And that is not a camera trick. This neck is a little bit more... It's still white, don't get me wrong. But it's a little bit... I don't know, a little bit yellower than the, um, than the body. I do like that the... Uh, I do like that the core jack is in the back. I like that. Now, everything I'm pointing out here, guys, seems to be... I mean... For a $300 guitar, a Flying V, that looks pretty badass. It's shipped here from Spain. These aren't really humongous issues at all. I mean, the action is high, whatever. I, I, I can set up the action. The neck seems to be adjusted very well. The frets are filed very nicely. They're not gritty, except for these. This area of the frets are pretty gritty. I mean, for 300 I mean, I don't know. Let's plug it. Let's. I'm going to take off some of this plastic. I'm going to tune her up, adjust, uh, I'm going to tune it, adjust the, uh, the height, just set it up. I do a quick setup and then we'll jam on it. <laughs>
one thing I've noticed here, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, um, where they put that jack to plug in the cable, that sucks. If you know this, that hits your leg. If, when you're moving the guitar, you know, if it's going to like that, you are just smacking that cable into your leg. Now, here's the one thing I've noticed. This thing has some major neck dive, right? Okay, I'm trying not to get, because, like, I, there's, you either put it here or you put it here. There's no middle ground because of that cable. So we put it here, major neck dive, right? Now, the one cool thing is if you rest that cable against your leg, it doesn't fall. So having that cable there, your, your leg is kind of a support. Now, I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. I mean, if you guys can see how much that cable is sticking out. So when you have that down here, it's catching your leg. So you can't swing this guitar back and forth without it hitting your leg. So you're either playing back here. Really weird. Uh, you know, that's kind of weird. The one thing I do like... I really I love the way it sounds. This sounds really good. Um, it's just very clear, very clear and crisp. And I love the tone knob on here. When you switch this to the the neck pickup and turn that tone down, you're not really losing too much high end, and it gives it a really bluesy sound. That where to go. of a difference you can notice on my phone camera but this like a night and day sound from doing this high like, from that sound so that's a huge difference in in uh you know going from your bridge to your neck pickup there and using that tone that's pretty cool i do like that it sounds great, but this cape, I don't know if I can get past this freaking cape. Like, you can't. It's hard. Oh, and the harmonics on here. The harmonics, whatever pickups they put in here, it's catching, uh, I don't know what you would call it. I'm not a uh, scientist or anything. nice and slick and sounds good a uh, nice change in the sound on the on the pickups and the tone but uh i don't man there's a lot of pros and cons to this guitar okay you guys don't need to hear me play for like an hour just trying to give you the gist of what it sounds like and in my personal opinion it sounds really really good now i'm gonna go over the pros and cons on this guitar because honestly i'm not impressed with it now I had somebody comment in one of my past videos, uh, it was one of the, the glary burning fire. He tried to basically rip my head off like, if you don't like it, why? it's only $100, what are you complaining about? Look, this is a product review video, okay? The whole point of doing a review video is to go over every pro and con of whatever it is. I mean, you could be, it could be a guitar, it could be a knife or a gun or an amplifier, or whatever, software. The whole point of a product review is to go over all the pros and cons. So you guys who are watching it know what to expect. Now, when I say I'm not impressed or I have issues, it doesn't mean it's a horrible product. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. My personal opinion is I'm not impressed. I don't hate it, but I'll go over the pros and cons of this We'll do the cons first. First, um, it doesn't stay in tune very well. Now, that could be the strings. Uh, I always use D Dario strings. Um, I'll go get some of those and slap it on and see how it happens. The tuners feel good, but they're too, they are literally too close together. It's hard when you're putting your hand in the back trying to tune it, your hands hit both tuners on either side of whatever tuner you're using the tuners are a little too close together it's not a major it's i don't think it's a big deal i'm just letting you know again i'm just letting you guys know the pros and cons from my personal outlook i think the tuners are too close together 
Um, I think the paint job is not very good, especially the paint job on the neck seems really nice, but the paint job on the body, I mean, there's so many imperfections on it. Uh, I mean, the, the plus side of that, though, is you can't really see it unless you look really, really close. So, again, not a huge, not it doesn't affect the function of it. But, again, just another uh, con. Another con is the frets um, on top are very gritty. One other con is uh, I don't think the hardware on here is all that great. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's definitely not like some high-grade stuff. The bridge seems very cheap. Now I'm gonna point out my two bi two biggest cons with this guitar that I really have a freaking problem with. Um, number one is this jack coming out the back that hits your leg when you're standing up playing. Um, that is probably the, when I first saw it when I unboxed, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, that's different. After playing it, that's a horrible freaking idea. I don't know who came up with that. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe you're supposed to put a different type of cable in there. You guys tell me, am I doing anything wrong with that? I mean, I'm plugging in my cable and I'm standing up trying to play and it's hitting my leg and it's annoying as freaking hell. Now, you guys tell me if I'm doing anything wrong with that because, um, so that cable thing. Number two is when you flip this around and the sticker on the back says made in China. That really pisses me off. Now, for a 300 guitar, $300 guitar, should I expect anything more? This is the thing. I've only bought brand name guitars such as Jackson, Ibanez, Epiphone, things like that. This is the first guitar I bought other than the Glary ones. Glary, I'm pretty sure you know are going to be made in China when they're a $100 guitar. This is a solar guitar, Old England's company in Spain. Why is he getting, you know, I, th I didn't buy a solar guitar. I bought a Chinese guitar. I spent $300 on a Chinese guitar is what I did. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a Chinese guitar, but I, bought, I wanted to buy a solar guitar. If I wanted to buy a cheap Chinese guitar, I could have bought another Glary. So, like, that's really disheartening when you look back there and see a sticker that says Made in China, and then you see the S Solar right there. But, uh, you know, is that the way all guitars are? I mean, if you buy Jackson and Epiphone, I guess it's just all freaking Made in China now. But so it's kind of dumb if you're just going to order all your parts from China then slap your name on it and claim that you got something really different and unique and you don't. Now, I, I don't know if all of Ola England's guitars, like his solar guitars, are all the rest of them like that? Are they all just Chinese parts he has shipped over and slapped together? I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is this guitar I turn over says made in China. And that's kind of disheartening. Like I thought I was getting something unique and I really didn't. I mean... It's shaped very cool. It's shaped a very unique way, but that's all just CNC router machine. You know, that's, you know, it's a, they, you know, they slapped a paint job on it and put an S for solar, but it's a fucking Chinese guitar. So I didn't really get anything unique. One other con is just like an Explorer style guitar. This V, it's got neck dive. You stand up, boom, it's going to fall over unless you hook that cable on your leg like I showed you. One other con is this guitar did not come set up at all whatsoever. Now, to me, that's a pro and a con. I don't care if it's set up. Um, a lot of people will get really angry about that. The intonation on this was horrible. Uh, the string height was way too high. I did it. I did adjust the neck just ever so slightly. I don't think I really needed to, but um, I know how like uh, I like a guitar setup. I did have to lower the bridge. To bring those strings down, I, the they were so out of tune. And, and again, this is I, I don't worry about a setup because if you're someone that's played for a long time, you will always customize a setup. It doesn't matter how they set it up. If you've been playing for a long time, you're going to change it. So that doesn't matter to me. But I'm just letting you know that, again, for the people who maybe, like, it's not going to come set. It's going to become set up really, really bad. So take it somewhere. If you know how to do it, do it. Have somebody else do it for you. One other con I noticed right away is that the body and the neck are two different colors, um, which tells me they're made in two separate places and it's not the same paint. The difference is not huge. Um, you, pro you probably won't even be able, to be able to tell the difference on camera, especially when I'm not... Like, if I'm holding this like this, can you tell the difference between the paint on the neck and the body? Probably not. You got to see, you got to be looking real close up in person and you can see, is that really a big deal? You, you decide. Now, I will tell you the things I do like about this guitar. 
it looks it's still like even though it's made in china it still freaking looks badass it still looks cool I, I love the contour of the neck and everything i like the five bolt pattern on the neck and the back i like that the neck is painted white um it still looks badass i love how the pickups are all black they look like your standard humbuckers with the um that usually have the metal the metal dots in the middle but those are painted black or colored black however they did it i love the color of the pickups i think this guitar sounds really good i like the tone difference uh switching from the pickups and from the tone knob um, i do think it plays very well i do like how the fret edges are nicely smooth you don't get any burrs here at all and and for me that's a huge deal when you're running your hand up and down if this like this will literally just start cutting your skin these the frets on the edges are nice and smooth the top is where it's gritty the other thing that I noticed that this guitar excels at is doing harmonics. Now, I'm not very good at harmonics. I can do a little bit here and there, but I noticed doing those little pinch harmonics on a couple of them, this, it's got a lot of sustain, I guess you would call it. You would call it a lot of sustain on those harmonics. It really brings it out. So whatever, whatever pickups they put in here, I personally think are very, very good pickups, even though I have no freaking clue what they put in here. It does sound good and really brings those harmonics out. And the last pro on this I do like is it is not too light. It's actually got some weight to it. This like it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like your glary guitars that weigh like two pounds. Whatever wood they used, um, it's got to be some decent quality. This is not light. It's not heavy. I would say it's about mid grade. It's, it's got a nice weight to it. So my overall take on this guitar as would be this. If you're a pro, you're not going to be impressed with this at all. If you're young and you want something cool and unique to stand out at a club, at a show, this is definitely for you. For 300 bucks. I think this would be definitely something cool that would stand out for you at a show. I'm not impressed by this guitar, nor do I hate it. I, I, I like it and I dislike it at the same time. I am kind of let down by a few things like, as I've already gone over, so... But I'm gonna slap. I'm gonna get some brand new strings, slap it on here. I'm gonna get some Diodarios. I'll jam on it for a week. Maybe do some recording. Uh, maybe I'll do some shorts for you guys and and see how it feels. Cause I, it plays nice and it sounds good, but you know, just some of this other stuff is is kind of uh, a letdown. Okay, that's the video, guys. Uh, as always, you guys stay metal out there and feel free to leave whatever comment you want. Um, let me know what you guys, am I being way too critical about this stuff? And, and again, this isn't necessarily being critical. It's just me pointing, pointing out all the goods and bads for you guys before you buy it. Um, maybe all these cons aren't that big of a deal. Um, they definitely won't be a big deal to somebody who's young, but for someone who's been playing a long time, somebody like me, or if you guys have been playing 20, 30 years, and you're very, very picky, and you're going to notice all these things, these, this probably will be a big deal for you. If you're young, probably not. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think.